All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another video, and I'm here to do a new Gore's Recent Game Pickups, kinda. I'm in my old uh, spot where I used to record these, uh, where you can actually see me better, <laughs> and the lighting is much better over here. Um, the background's less interesting, but whatever. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this right now, even though I usually do these on Fridays, is, is because... This is going to be a, a mini episode. This might be something I want to do in the future where maybe I have too much stuff to show on Friday. So I want to do a mini episode just to, to show a little bit of stuff in a quick amount of time. And then the Friday episode will be the one that's really long. Uh, but the reason why I'm doing this right now is because everything I'm about to show you besides one game uh, is being sold to GameStop tomorrow. I'm going to go and trade it in. Um, originally I was just going to sell them online as a lot, but I quickly figured out that, uh, GameStop's actually doing a pretty good job of, uh, of matching eBay prices as long as you take advantage of some of their, uh, trading offers. Of course, you, you get trading credit, uh, which is fine with me because I'm about to pick up a couple games anyway. Um, so whatever. Uh, so I figured I might as well just trade them into GameStop besides, you know, putting them up on eBay and hoping that they sell. Um, so... These games I'm about to show you are all going to be gone before uh, Friday. So, you know, I could record a Gore's, uh, bleh, a Gore's Recent Game Pickups video right now, but I don't have enough to show, and I do have a couple things coming in the next couple days. Actually, I have a few things coming. So I decided, let's do a mini episode. So let's get to it. What This is kind of like a, a hybrid, a Recent Game Pickups and a GameStop Trading video. Both two things I do. Um, so welcome to the hybrid episode. Uh... Let's get to it. Uh, so, I picked up a pretty damn good lot of PS4 games. Uh, $48, I think, is what I spent. They're $5 each, so it ended up being $35. Plus, sadly, the guy charged me $10 of shipping, which I don't think it really needed to be $10. But he charged me, and I wasn't going to argue because I was getting a good deal. Um, and tax. So, it was around $48. So, let's say $49, just so we could say that each game was $7 each. <laughs> that just makes it easier. Um, so let me show you what I got here and what I'm about to get rid of besides one game. Uh, the one game that I'm keeping because uh, GameStop doesn't really give too much for it. And to be honest, I kind of want to keep it for PS4 just in case I ever want to play it on PS4. It doesn't go for too much nowadays, um, but it's one of my favorite games ever. And it's a game I currently play still. And that is Overwatch. So right there, bam, complete. I guess that's as bad as complete as it can get nowadays. So there we go. And uh, storage, or it's the Origins, <laughs> Origins Edition. <sighs> I love this game. I don't like this cover for, well, not various reasons, just one. But uh, I love this game. I need to play more of it. I haven't played it in like a month, to be honest. Like, well, I have, but I just haven't really gotten into it um, in about a month because I've been playing other things. And to be honest, Recently, I haven't been in the video game mood, so I took a break from it. So once I get back into it, oh, it's going to be mwah, muy fantastic. That's whatever. Anyway, it's cringe. This video is cringe. Turn it off. All right. So next game. This one is now we're getting into the games that are worth a little bit. This one usually sells for about 20 to 25. But if I trade in the GameStop and I use the 30% extra that you get if you trade in towards a game, um, then I get... 26 I think so I'm gonna say screw it and just do that and that is the Sims 4 for the PS4 Surprisingly that goes for a lot it actually goes for more on PS4 than it does for Xbox one Which I'm sure some people are gonna say damn no shit Whatever Sims 4 good deal seven bucks next Grand Theft Auto 5 right there. Look at that comes with the map which I'm considering just keeping because I'm just gonna we're, I'm, I don't know. I'll probably just leave it. I don't really care. But um, I'm going to just give GameStop everything here. Because if you don't know GameStop, when you trade in shit, you can just give them the disc and they'll give you full credit. Uh, they won't mark you down for no case or no manual or whatever. Um, but sometimes I like to keep the case just in case I find the game loose again. And there's been tons of times where that has worked out for me in the past. It just worked out recently for me, actually, with a game called Chrono Trigger on DS trade this game in at GameStop a couple years ago, kept the case, and I just got it recently uh, in a DS lot for a good price. So there you go, now I have a $50 DS game complete, baby. And now this one's going to go because I don't think this is ever going to be rare. <laughs> so whatever. Uh, that one trades in for around 20 I think it's like 19 
Next is Ark Survival Evolved, which is still a game that I could sell for about 20 bucks. That I guess that's complete. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, this one also trades in for 19.50. This one I already have. Otherwise, I obviously wouldn't trade it in because it is a game that uh, is loved and adored by many, and that is God of War. Of course, I still have my copy, uh, and it is complete, I guess. And bam, seven bucks for that. Still a twenty twenty five dollar game. It is going to be a greatest hits game soon, so. That's a good reason why to get rid of it as quick as possible because it will be $20 new soon. So for $20 used, get that shit out of here quick. Uh, next is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I have it on Xbox One. Still have yet to play it. But uh, it's the deluxe edition, which means uh, it includes the game. <laughs> oh, and additional content. Which I heard this game has plenty of content, so I don't know why you need any more, to be honest. Doesn't have like four DLCs now too? Jesus. And the last game is... Alright, this is a long ass title. Okay. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Boruto. That's the full title of that fucking game. That's ridiculous. I'm going to say it again. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I screwed it up. Shonen Jump Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Boruto. <laughs> Doesn't say the, ship, uh, the Shonen Jump thing on the side, but... That is ridiculous. <laughs> One of my other favorite ones, I have this here, is uh, Dragon Quest Heroes, The World's Trees Woe, and the, and the Blight Below. I have that just here for reasons. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the Japanese with their fucking long ass titles. But for $48, oh shit. I could sell that bundle alone online for like 100 at least $100, so I've doubled my money. But I'm trading all this to GameStop for credit which I'm going to use for games, and I think the credit ends up being around 118, I think it is, um, which is, <laughs> shit, that's really good. Um, I'll take that, almost $70 extra. I mean, sure, it's GameStop credit, but actually it's exactly $70 extra if it's 118, because it was 48. Math, look it up. Uh, so anyway, that is it. <sighs> Nah, I was I was thinking maybe I'll give you a, a brief peek at some of the other stuff I got uh, for Friday. But to be honest, at this point, there isn't too much for Friday. Um, I am getting a bunch of stuff soon. So, uh, But just in case something happens where I don't get that stuff, I want to keep what I do have as a surprise. But anyway, if you didn't check it out, I did a Gore's recent Game Pickups video a few days ago. It didn't get too many views, mainly because, well, maybe just people that want to watch it. I guess that could be it. <laughs> Nobody cares. That sucks. But... I think it was also because I posted it pretty late. I posted it almost at 1 o'clock my time. Uh, that wasn't... It wasn't my fault, but it was... My editing system was, like, for some reason, taking the longest fucking time to export it. It was actually a shorter episode than previous ones, and it took way longer th for that one to export than other ones. Other ones. Um, so I apologize. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go look it up. It's one of my more recent videos. Maybe I'll put it, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Anyway, there you go. That is it. And that was a big one, too, because I got some good shit. But anyway, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, how long is this? Only eight and a half minutes. Look at that. Look how quick that was. Look how quick that was. Damn. Damn. Uh, well, enjoy my groceries and game pickup slash GameStop trading hybrid video. Bye.